Okay, so in this video, we're going to talk about learning styles and how knowing your child's learning style can make learning fun and relaxing. And if your child has a specific learning style, um, how they communicate and what toys and activities they prefer. So the three learning styles we're going to talk about today, um, they are auditory, visual, and kinesthetic. So with an auditory learner, they like to use hearing to learn, and they the way that they communicate, they tend to remember concepts when explained aloud, and they like to repeat aloud what they have just learned, and they can retain knowledge better when it's um, incorporated into music or song or clapping. So for an example, my son learned the Lord's Prayer by me singing it every night and I would just sing it every night before bedtime and you know he wouldn't sing it with me but all of a sudden just this morning he just sung the whole song so just by me singing the song repeating it every night little by little he learned the Lord's Prayer through a song. Um, also um, auditory learners the toys and activities that they like they like music um, they can remember words if like I said if they're put into a song they're good at following directions and they like being read to they also like wordplay and language patterns so wordplay would include anything with rhyming and language pattern would be like if you have a sentence with the same letter so like Paul pats the pink pig they like um, you know they like activities like that so the next one is visual learners and they use sight to learn and the way that they communicate is by drawing or painting and you'll be amazed at how these learners you'll learn a lot about them through what they draw they can tell you if they're feeling scared or if they're happy you know just ask them to draw a picture about their day and when they explain it to you you can figure out you know what they're feeling and what they did that day just through their drawing because that's how they communicate um, they like reading, especially reading books with colorful pictures, with um, characters that they can identify with, and they also like retelling stories. Um, they will say, show me, when they are learning something new. That's how I am. I like for someone to show me. I want to see them doing it. And also the toys and activities, um, they like books, but colorful books that they can identify with. Um, I'm not a big fan of worksheets, but um, actually my son likes worksheets, but they have to be colorful. And um, it has to be where he's solving a problem, like if it's a little boy and he can't find his way to the number 100, you know, the worksheet is... Um, is telling my son will guide the little boy to get to 100 so he's solving the boy's problem and it has to have color but just a side note if you know if you like to copy the worksheets and they're black and white you can add color by using um, color pencils with erasers or you can have them draw pictures on the worksheet so that's just a side tip there um, so visual learners they also like puzzles they like drawing and viewing pictures they also like to create storylines through their sketches or their drawings they like colorful flashcards again I'm not a big fan of flashcards but if they're colorful and appealing to your child then I would say use them and um, one example is you know I taught my son how to write um, basically a, a lot of it was through um, visual learning uh, we would write on the window you know we would paint we would draw we would see letters in, and numbers in books and I would take my finger and trace the letters and the numbers um, so that's one way that he learned how to write so let's go to the kinesthetic learner and they're more physical uh, they like to learn through touch and movement and the way they communicate again like I said is through um, physical activities touch movement they will say let me see that which means let me hold it you know they want to experience it they want to explore it um, they like action words like run jump kick play and the toys and activities that they like they like um, building like with Legos magnetic tiles um, model sets they like to sort things touch them um, even interactive um, displays at museums they really like like the children's sections and museums are really good for these types of learners they love to tear things apart um, in order to figure out how it works and um, I believe that many children possess more than one learning style my son possesses more than one he's learned through all of these and I actually incorporate them whenever I'm teaching him a new concept and I think that is real fun in-depth learning using all the senses to learn a new concept um, but we're going to discuss later in this course how to use 
multiple um, learning techniques when you're trying to teach your child something new or if they possess more than one learning type. And also I think it's just important to expose your child to more than one learning type because you know if they go to school a lot of times a teacher may lecture maybe they can um, you know take in that information through auditory auditory learning where the teacher is telling them something but maybe they can interpret it on their paper by drawing out their notes or creating pictures with their notes. Um, so that way you, you know they can interpret the information how they want to receive it and how they learn it. So and also if you see a child that's struggling maybe with reading or being exposed to words, just hone in on their learning style and teach reading and exposure to words that way. So that's all for this video and we will go to the next one.